No matter how struggle and strive, I'll never get out of this world alive. Tim. Me? Can I have a word? Oh, hey, Marie. Hey there. Hey, this is awkward. Not for me. What's going on? We're having some issues with Frank. Frank? He's drinking again. No. What makes you think that? Helen! Helen, come over here. I want a tongue kiss you. Do you know how to tongue kiss? What are you looking at? He always delivers the mail like that. The few times I've seen him, no? He's frightening many of the employees, Tim. <laughs> um, listen, at the end of the day, you can't knock the guy. He's His job is to get the mail delivered, and that's what he's doing. <laughs> Oh, man, I puked on the mail again. That is a problem. He's vomiting on the mail nonstop. You know, we figure since you were the one who, you know, took out his girlfriend's eye, derailed his sobriety, maybe you could just tell him he's fired, too. No, no, you're the HR lady. Just handle it your own way, you know? Throw a dart at him. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a compassionate way to fire someone. Ah, uh, listen, give him a week. I'll go to a support group with him, and I'll get him back on the path to sobriety. Really? I I'm gonna fix this. Guess it kind of makes up for throwing a dart in his girlfriend's eye. <laughs> oh, that, that really amuses you, doesn't oh, it? Oh, God. That's great. Thanks for coming with me, Tim. I think it's the least I can do. Well, the very least. Oh, hey, look who it is. Oh, hey. wow. <laughs> Carla. Yeah. This is great. The gang's all together. Here we are. You're here to support Frank, no, I assume. No, no. I go to the, the room across the hall for the painkiller addicts. That's me now. Because of the... Take a guess, why? I've got to assume by the tone of your voice that you're talking about the dart incident. Indeed. Wow. The old dart in the eye. Hmm. Wow, this always gets awkward. Yeah. Well, listen, Carla. If you ever need a support group, buddy... Are you fucking kidding okay. me? Okay. Okay, then. So Frank's back. Welcome back, Frank. I wouldn't be here if not for uh, this guy. Uh, mm, thank everybody's you. got their angels, you know? No, no, no. I meant he ruined my life. Oh, hmm. that's not how I heard it. Okay. All Oops. right, well, well, let's just get into it, all right, shall we? Frank, you were doing so well, so why don't you tell us what happened? Well, I could summarize it by saying I had a high score on a pinball machine. Yeah. Tim obliterated my high score, and now I'm boozing it up like never before. It's a weird summary. Everyone followed the yeah. story? I understood that. Hang on one sec. Bruce, very distracting. I need you to sit down. I can't sit down. I literally cannot sit down. Okay. I got a hip problem. Tim, why did you feel the need to ruin Frank's life? Hmm. Ruin his life? No. Oh. I was walking him down the path of sobriety. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and say I don't think anyone gets what you're saying so far. I'm trying to, I'm trying okay, to talk. Where, okay, put the thoughts in your mouth and put them out. Okay. Listen, is a pinball machine really the biggest problem in your life? Why don't you go ahead and explain to Frank what these bigger problems might be that he needs to focus yeah, on? Yeah, let's hear what's so bad about Frank's life, Bruce, according to you. Bruce. What? Everyone's sitting. I can't. I told you already. I can't sit down. I can't sit down anywhere. Go ahead, Tim. If you insist, uh, getting a, a better job. What's your job? He's been the mail guy since 1982. No, that's not possible. They always promote the guy in the mail room up, huh. no. up the ladder. No, no ladder. Um... I wouldn't live on a college campus. He lives near a college. No, he lives with the fraternity. Seriously, Frank? Bit of a weird setup. That's the saddest thing I ever heard in my life. That's pretty sad. Clothing, I mean, can't imagine you have more than three t-shirts. You try to rotate them with different colors, but- I'm gonna go ahead and agree with Tim there. Right? The first time you came to group, I thought you were homeless. Yeah. Tim, are you trying to cheer me up? I was, um, it doesn't sound uplifting as I'm saying it. It's kind of cheered me up, because hearing all the ways that Frank's life is so horrible, I've feel a lot better about myself. What are you looking at? These shabby shoes I'm wearing all the time is full of holes and nails. And brother, if I stepped on a worn out dime, I bet a nickel I could tell you if it was heads or tails. I'm not gonna worry wrinkles in my 